Good evening, everybody. I'm Mary Love, and welcome to Country Living. Welcome back to my kitchen. My husband decided he wanted some brats tonight for dinner, so I used the Johnsonville Original. I'm going to make him three, and I'm going to put them in a pot of boiling water and let them boil for just a little bit. And then what I do is I'll split them open and I'll heat my grill pan up and then I'll brown them up real good on the grill pan and he likes them that way. So we're going to get about three of these in this pot and then I'm going to make another treat because four out of five on them cinnamon rolls, he ate himself. He ate them all. He took one for the team and he loved them. So I will be making those cinnamon rolls again for him. So, but anyways, I'll show you what I'm doing with these brats. I got my water here. And I'm going to take three of these and just put them down in here. And let that come to a boil. Now I'm going to wash my hands right quick. And we're going to get started making this other little snack. So hang on. Okay, for this next little snack, I saw this on Facebook. A friend of mine shared it on there, and I watched it, and I thought, hmm, I'm going to try that out. It's for marshmallow rice crispy treats, but she only made it in one dish. She fixed everything in a 9 by 13 pan, and she actually put it in the oven and melted her, uh, she used the candy cane marshmallow peeps i couldn't find those so i'm just going to be using the regular great value brand marshmallows the big ones i've got great value rice krispies i'm going to add a little vanilla to it after everything gets melted i got my butter and i'm going to use some non-stick spray on my dish so let's get down here and do what she did and see if it turns out like hers did. All right, we're gonna spray this dish. This is, what is this? I'm guessing it's an eight by eight. That's what we're gonna say anyways, cause I think that's what it is. Okay, we got it. We got that sprayed. Try not, to <coughs> try not to inhale it. Now, like I said, I couldn't find no little candy cane marshmallow peeps, so I just got regular marshmallows. So we're gonna line these up in here, like so. Hopefully, I got enough marshmallows. I think it'll be enough. We might have to scatter them out a little bit. Oh, it's going to be plenty. Even if we do scooch them up. Okay. I think... I think that's enough marshmallows. Now, to this, we're going to pour some Rice Krispies over it. I got my oven preheated to 350 degrees. Let me grab a knife. They make these cereal bags when you can't get in it. That's how you get in it. We're going to pour some Rice Krispies over these. All right, we got them covered. That's what she said to do. Cover them with Rice Krispies. Okay. That's done. Okay. 
Now we're going to put some butter on the top. We're just going to put some little pats of butter all over the top of it. I might have to get me another stick. Yeah, I think I'm going to have to. This ain't going to be enough. All right. I'll be right back. Okay, had to get some more butter. Didn't have enough. Okay. We're just going to kind of sprinkle a little more around. Just to make sure. Okay, now then, this is going to go in the 350 degree oven for nine minutes. So we'll be back. Stick around. Okay, I took them out of the oven. The marshmallows puffed up just like hers did. So that's a good thing. So now I'm going to take this nonstick spray and I'm going to spray my spatula so these marshmallows don't stick to it. So far, so good. It's doing just like hers did. And I'm going to mix in just a little bit of vanilla flavoring. Not much, but a little bit. That's good. Put it back on that. Should have added more marshmallows, or not marshmallows, but Rice Krispies. Let me grab some right quick. I don't think I added enough. We're gonna add some more. She didn't actually give an amount on how much she added. She just added them to it. Okay, I think that's gotten pretty well mixed up. So now we're going to flatten them out just like she did and let them set up. Nice and smooth. And we'll see how this turns out. Now she cut hers out in candy cane with the candy cane cookie cutter. I'm not doing that. I'm just going to leave them. I'll just cut them in squares. But there they are. Rice Krispie treats in one dish. So we're going to let those set up and then we'll be back here in just a little bit so I can show you these brats. So hang on. Later. Now, as you can see, those are boiling. I've got my grill pan on. Let me cross right here in front of you. 
We're going to take these out. And we're going to split these open. Now we're going to lay it on the grill. Now, we're going to take my press, put it right on top of them, and let them get browned up. We'll brown them up on each side, and then he'll be ready to eat. So, hang out. We'll be right back. A few moments later. All right. We're going to see what they look like. There we go. Brown them up on that side, and then they'll be done. So, almost to the finish line. All right, these are done. Just that quick, he's got him three brats, cooked and browned, and he will enjoy these. Not me. So. <laughs> You won't get to see me taste these because I don't like them. But anyways, as soon as those Rice Krispie treats get cooled off, I'll be back. So stick around. Okay, Rice Krispie treats are done. Not quite set up completely yet, but close enough that I wanted to try it. So... Mm. They're good, but they are sticky. But it does work. You talk to the old man. So that'll work. And I could have had a little too much butter. Could be why they haven't completely set up yet. <clears throat> but for the most part, in theory, it does work that way. So I'll try, I'll keep trying it. Working with different levels of butter or marshmallows or, you know, till I get it right. But. Is this easier than making it on the stove, melting the marshmallows and all that stuff? I think it might be. But anyways, those are my videos for tonight. I pray that each and every one of you get a great night's rest tonight. Hopefully it's not too cold tomorrow where you live at. Today it was 74 degrees here today, but tomorrow it's only going to be in the 40s. It's supposed to get down to 28 tonight. So, yeah, temperature's going to, bottom's going to fall out of it. But it's almost winter time, so can't get nothing else but cold weather. But if you're new to my channel and you haven't yet subscribed, I hope by the end of this video that you will do so. And if you do, please hit that bell notification so that every time I upload a new video, you'll be notified of it. I don't want you to miss out on anything through the holidays. I'll be making more candy videos. Uh, homemade candy makes some great Christmas presents. But to all my new subscribers, thank you so much for joining my channel. I deeply appreciate it. Um, I, I love doing this. And as long as I'm able, I'm going to keep on keeping on. But with that, I will say good night.
God bless. Take care, and until we meet here again tomorrow, we'll find something to do. But have a wonderful evening, and I will see you tomorrow.